Hi, this is Brayden reporting for Kids First, and today I'm reviewing the movie Fly Me to the Moon. This is the best movie I've watched all year. Fly Me to the Moon is a wonderful and compelling motion picture that takes you on a whirlwind adventure, showing you exactly what it means to get everything ready for launch day. Brought in to help NASA get back on the good side of the American public, Kelly Jones, played by Scarlett Johansson, a marketing know-it-all, revs up NASA's marketing program much to the dismay and annoyance of launch director Colt Davis, played by Channing Tatum. When problems ensue getting the rocket ready for launch day, Kelly is told to stage a backup version of the moon landing in case things go awry. Now, she has to figure out a way to do the impossible, land a man on the moon, and yet never leave Earth. Everything in this movie is spot on, from the details put into making sure the food stays in line with the time frame, to showing how one of the smallest creatures plays one of the biggest roles in the story. I really love the music. It's upbeat at times and mysterious at others. It definitely impacts the emotions of every scene. Kudos to the director, Greg Berlanti, and music director, Daniel Pemberton. The screenplay by Rose Gilroy is some of the best writing that I have seen. I love the dialogue between the characters, which is peppered with humor and a bit of romance. Kelly and Cole's chemistry softens out this production and sweetens the overall impact. It's hard to choose a favorite thing in this film, but I'm going to go with the cat who reminds me a lot of my own. He's very curious about everything the team is working on. This is a very dramatic movie from start to finish. I'm glad that there isn't that much of a low point. Neither Kelly nor Cole's past is dwelled upon. We learn just enough to give us depth and insight into their personalities. This is definitely a movie I already want to see again. The film's message is that you don't have to fake it to make it. Though the government wanted a staged moon landing to secure a win in the space race, Kelly finds out that sometimes you can be authentic and still get the same results. Be aware there is some profanity in this film and lots of smoking. But it was 1969 after all. I give Fly Me to the Moon 5 out of 5 stars and recommend it for ages 12 to 18 plus adults. Fly Me to the Moon will rock it into theaters on July 12th, 2024. That's it for now. This is Brayden reporting for Kids First. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss my next review or those of my amazing teammates. See you later!